Wonder Kids meal with the Sprite. Alright. That'll be it. Just work for your Gotta have that stamina, y'all. It keeps everything so nice and cold or so nice and hot. I love my Stanley. right here it is called the vintage treasure 2 I so wanted to go to this place was open yesterday and I'm looking at the sign and it says that they're open from on um, Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. But it is um like the it's vintage and I so want to go to this place. Now I started to come here yesterday but I did not. Um on the window it says consignments, lamps, decorations, rugs and antiques. I don't need anything antique, but if I can go in there and I can find something that will go good with my journaling area as far as like where I can place things um, store things or whatever that's the only reason why I would like to go into this place and I just I'm I'm a vintage but I'm not a vintage person <clears throat> but I've always been interested in going into a vintage thrift shop and I did not even know that we had one right here in the city that I live in so hopefully well, I'm off Tuesday, so I might come here Tuesday and just look around and see what kind of items that they got and what their prices are and see if I actually will like it. This here is the oldest fish market in Thomasville, y'all. <laughs> oh my God. I remember when me and my mom, boy, we used to come here and we used to get some fish because she was a real mullet person. So we used to come here and we used to make sure we get our fish for the weekend or the week. Hatcher Seafood, the oldest seafood fish market in my city. my friends I went to BAM 
yes I did say that I was going in there to get one book but I went to the bargain section and I seen books for two dollars then I finally found when in Rome it was actually their last book that they had there I didn't see it at first but I asked the cashier and he looked it up and they had one book and I cannot believe I found it but it's called when in Rome I have the other book practice makes perfect but I've seen people reading this book so many times before they actually started on practice make perfect so it says opposite certainly attracts for a, a strained strained pop star and a small town baker in this um charming slice of romance from Sarah Adams author of the cheat sheet I've also seen the cheat sheet uh, pretty sure if I like both of her books from here I'm going to get the cheat sheet it's always been on my radar to get so Sarah Adams will see and it also says Amelia Rose known as Re Rose to her adoring fans is burned out for years of maintaining her princess of pop image inspired by her favorite um, Audrey Audrey Hemburg, Hemburn film Roman Holiday she drives off in the middle of the night for a break in Rome Rome Kentucky that is I didn't even know there was a Rome Kentucky did y'all know that when Noah Walker finds Amelia on his front lawn in her broken down car he makes it clear he doesn't have the time or patience for celebrity problems he's too busy running the pie shop his grandmother left him and reminding his nosy but lovable neighbors to mind their own damn business <laughs> despite his better judgment he lets her stay in his guest room but only until her car is fixed then she's on her own but Noah starts to see a different side of re -Rose. he sees the real Amelia kind-hearted and goofy yet lonely from years in the public eye he can't help but to get close to her soon she'll have to return to her a uh, glamorous life on tour but until then Noah will show Amelia all the charming small time experiences she she's been missing and she'll help him open his heart to more when in Rome two dollar book what is it called y'all deep blue by Jennifer Donley it was just two bucks can't go wrong with two bucks um it looked like it's like a fantasy book um and if i happen not to like it i can always do a giveaway another two dollar book called before and again by barbara delinsky delinsky i'm not sure how to pronounce that look like it might be pretty good it says mackenzie cooper took her eyes off the road for just a moment but the resulting collision changed her life forever now she lives in vermont under the name maggie Reed in a small house with cats and dolls working as a makeup artist at a luxurious local spa her one goal is to stay under the radar but she isn't the only one in this peaceful town with secrets when her friend's teenager teenage son is thrust into national spotlight maggie is torn between pulling away and pretending herself protecting herself or stepping into the glare to be at their side as she as the stunning truth behind her case is slowly revealed maggie's own carefully constructed story also begins to unravel she knows all too well that what we need from each other is in different what well, different worlds is comfort but to provide it sometimes we have to travel for outside our comfort zone don't we know about that for the million multi-million seller um, master of women's fiction before and again is a story of a sacrifice we are willing to make and the courage to take a truly to take it truly forgives ourselves hmm I might be pretty good y'all it's called before and again and as I was looking for when in Rome when I thought I couldn't find it y'all look at this cover of this book do you think this book would have caught your attention curves for days 
so I ended up getting this book as well that what really took me over my budget as far as what I was gonna get today besides the two dollar books but two dollar books you can't go wrong with that but this one is it's just about a, it's by Laura more it's not mother more more her m o h e r but it just says new life new home new town if only her big burly constructor doesn't scald her at her so much but anyway it's just look like it is pretty it's like a book talk it's a book talk book i do know that but the cover just really caught my attention so i had to get that book so now i'm done it's about two o'clock my kid has to go to work at like four or four thirty so i think i'm going to i don't know just call it a day go home and do a little bit of reading i need to finish up the fourth wing i'm so craving a coffee from starbucks this line is hella long y'all but i just want this iced white mocha with cold foam on top with caramel drizzle i gotta have it the line is long, but I don't know. The the people up here in Starbucks and Tallahassee, I think they're pretty fast because, you know, they're so busy. So I'm hoping that it won't be that long because, y'all, I need this coffee. I need this iced coffee. <laughs> I need this iced coffee. Okay. 